guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode one of season two of Kuma 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 Bear Punch. I, yeah, yeah, or just Kuma Bear season two. <laughs> but other than that, it's gotta get started in three, two, one, go. It feels like forever since we've seen season one. <laughs> I mean, what else is she gonna be? <laughs> well, of course. We want some pancake, honey soaked pancake. Oh my god! I want pancakes. I think it's cute that it's in bear form. <laughs> You don't have any more honey? Ah, just as like everything else is, right? Oh, I thought it would be government issues. I mean, heck. Mm. Mm. 
No. What? <laughs> I don't, you know what? Woo! I, I bet you, but that, that honey must be good as hell. <laughs> well, I think we found it. <laughs> Do you not want her to fight the bears, guys? Yeah, yeah. Baby! No! Right? We, we draw the line at kids! Hmm. Well, of course.
Oh. I think he would be fine about that. One of them. Yeah, because some pancakes look good. I mean, dang. Yeah, definitely have some. And we will probably never know what that is. Seriously, I just, once again, need another episode of Yeah, no, she's not bad.
We know. Stop, she's so fucking adorable, oh my god. <laughs> We don't need to cause a commotion or just any drama over this pudding. True, you are right. Or you know, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> But it's cute, though. I mean, I wouldn't see having a problem with it. <laughs> What's up? Okay, but why didn't you just stay that in the first place instead of looking all like smucky? Like, mm mm. Right? I think mainly because they trust you.
Oh, baby, it's okay. You got this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I mean, you shouldn't really be that busy, right? So just say yes. What are you waiting for? All these little things. Like, come on now. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. She always wants to wait for you. Hmm? Aw. Once again, the cutest freaking couple in the world. Like, there's... <laughs> Just them, like... <laughs> much oh my god okay but first initial thoughts i mean it feels like this first episode kind of ended or really started right where we ended in a way i mean because i haven't had time to uh read per se because you know hey busy girl with everything else and ish but you know when you're on vacation you can do everything but you know also busy on vacation as well i mean but yeah i thought this is really sweet i love the fact that we got to see both old and new characters just in this first episode alone because usually in other shows especially when it is the second season we're more or less going to see older characters from previous seasons and then eventually about like episode two going on three that is when we you know essentially see the start of new characters who are either related to a certain character or they're just friends with that character and such like okay wasn't expecting noir <laughs> definitely or even the mention of Misa and such, but still, once an episode, once again, focusing on the both of them, just how we got in season one. But I mean, it was very cute. I mean, honestly, I've missed this show and these characters so freaking much. Cause literally the girl who plays um, Yuna, of course, she's in freaking Cinderella Girls. And so I get to hear her voice like, Mmm, it depends. Like, sometimes it could be once in a blue moon, depending on, like, if she is the gotcha card or if she is, um, in an event. She hasn't been in an event in, like, about a good year. So, something tells me, like, a card is coming. Possibly. <laughs> Who knows? But I mean, honestly, yes, because like the the last time I heard her before even Cinderella Girls and this was Zombieland season two. And we are also hoping Zombieland Saga gets a season three. But yeah, I love just, I miss these characters and everything about this world and how freaking cute and adorable, diabetes cute it is because it's too much. Like, oh, it just, just like I said last season with Sunroon, I felt home. It continues with this. Like, any anime that gets a season two that I love so freaking much, I feel like I just always am returning home. And I just love the feeling of that. It just, it feels so freaking good. And it makes me so happy. But I am truly excited to see what else is entailed for this second season. I do also like the fact that, you know, I was expecting this whole episode to just be like a chill episode and such and it still felt like that even though we got like a little quest with a problem and such 
Um, it is going to be very interesting if we're continuing on to next week. If Yuna and uh, Shiva are going to be together because I do want to see those two interact a lot more because, you know, in season one, in my opinion, they only got like a little smidgen of it and such because, okay, of course, Yuna is only going to be there for a certain amount of points and such. Then also seeing her come home, I'm like, okay, babe, once again, you know, why don't you just have... A freaking house like everywhere you go then you don't have to walk all the way home home to your home like seriously imagine like you are like you're somewhere and then the drive or the plane ride or anywhere just to get back home that's a lot <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of season two of Kuma Bear. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all next time for episode two. Bye, guys.